What's up guys? Today we are down testing the BHR E-Race with the guys at E-Bikezilla. It's a bike that I've been waiting to ride for a long time and I'm excited to check this thing out finally. So let's run through the specifications and see what this bike's all about. The BHR E-Race features an 80 volt, 60 amp hour battery, totaling a capacity of 4.8 kilowatt hours. What's most unique about the BHR is that it has a four speed transmission with a clutch. We weren't provided a ton of information about the motor or controller on this bike, but it does have a striking resemblance to the Denzel motor and gearbox. According to BHR, they didn't begin with a completely new chassis for this bike. Although they don't explicitly state it, BHR suggests that they drew inspiration from one of the top Japanese motorcycle geometries. Based on my observations, this chassis bears a striking resemblance to that of a Honda CRF. It's my assumption that the same principles that apply to the Cristini all-wheel drive dirt bike also apply to this bike, in that it appears to be a Honda CRF chassis that has been adapted and modified. Moving on, the E-Race features a standard enduro-sized wheel combo with a 21-inch up front and an 18-inch in the rear. For suspension, it's got an HT 48 millimeter fork and an HT shock. To stop the BHR, the bike is set up with Nissan brakes. Lastly, if you want to purchase the BHR, you can find it for sale at the ECR Marketplace, and the links are in the description. Enough talk, let's get out and ride. <laughs> Taking a little bit of getting used to riding this thing. But I'm starting to feel like I got the hang of it. You definitely have to be on point with your shifts. Because the power definitely plateaus. And when it plateaus, I mean, it has no power at all. I'm trying to ride it like a gear higher. Like right there, it just falls right on its face. Yeah, it definitely feels like a trail bike, you know, it's a little on the heavy side, not too bad though. Suspension's a little soft. Quality is pretty good on this thing. The brake lever is definitely awkward. It's like really long and it jets out. So that's an easy fix. You could just throw a different brake lever on it. Weird. I keep hitting neutral, that's the only thing. I feel like I click down once and it goes from second to neutral. Oh my God, 
keeps going into neutral. All right, guys, so doing some testing. And uh, the only gripe that I'm finding right now is that often when I'm shifting from third down to second, it's going into neutral. But you never know what kind of oil. Yeah, right there, like I was in third and I just shifted to second. And it went to neutral. But uh, what I was saying, he's like, you never know what kind of oil was originally put in this thing. Could really be causing the gearbox to feel notchy. But when you're in the right gear, I mean, it, it hooks up and it goes really good. Who knows, it could be the shifter too, but. <laughs> it's fun, man. See, I was in second and just accelerated and it just clicked into neutral. Sometimes I get a bit too distracted when I'm figuring these things out to clearly explain them in the moment. So I'll explain it more here. What was happening is the bike was clicking false neutral on downshifts. If it were just happening between first and second, it would make more sense to me. What was weird is the bike was finding neutral when I would downshift from third to second. Because this bike is almost brand new, we questioned the oil quality that was in the gearbox. After having this issue, we were told that the transmission needs time to break in. But right now we cannot verify that, and we can only assume that that's true. I mean, I like the concept of having gears and a clutch, it's cool, but Maybe just having like two speeds. Would be fine. All right, so overall first impressions on the BHR is this bike is super fun. It's got a lot of power. Uh, it feels like a full-size dirt bike. It's basically running off of the CRF Honda chassis, which makes it feel really familiar and comfortable. Uh, suspension feels good. It's a little soft. It kind of feels like a trail bike, but that's what it was intended for. So uh, kind of in that like Suron Stormby-ish category, but it feels a bit racier than that bike for sure. Uh, the gearbox is really my biggest gripe. I would like to ride another version of this bike just to see if it might be this particular bike or maybe just putting better oil in this gearbox might help that as well. Uh, it just felt pretty vague, kind of notchy, and it would put itself into neutral, which this bike doesn't really even need neutral in my opinion. I wish they would just get away from having that all together so that you don't accidentally shift into neutral because that kept happening to me and that was really the only downside. I would definitely change the shift lever and the brake lever. I think they're a little bit awkward, but those are like super easy fixes. Aside from that, this is one that I would like to do some more content with and hopefully give you guys a thumbs up or thumbs down on it. But right now, kind of a mixed review because of that gearbox. I think it's a bike that has a lot of potential. Like I said, I want to ride it more just to check that gearbox out. But overall, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this thing. It's pretty fun to ride for sure. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See ya.